Monster Gardeners. Today we're here to introduce you to a very exciting new product and we have uh, Rob from Grow Switch who has brought us full on uh, which is their nutrient additive product that is pretty amazing and is capable of doing some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, we're excited to bring this product onto our lineup because we've been hearing so many good things about it and uh, where we heard about this from was actually the Nectar Fam webpage. Um, so I'm gonna ask Rob, you know, what makes this product so unique? What is it that sets this product aside from so many of the other additives that we see out there, aside from the fact that it's obviously organic and organic certified? Right. Good question and, and honored to be here with you guys and uh, honored to be part of the Nectar Fam. And, and you're right, if it weren't for uh, Scott and, and that awesome group, we probably wouldn't be, wouldn't be talking. But there was actually a number of different things that uh, facilitate the workings of full-on. We call it nano-ionic biostimulant. So basically we've got a uh, nano-sized mineral matrix in here that carries a high negative ionic charge to it uh, in a recipe that, as you mentioned, is all organic and does a number of things to both catalyze and make more available nutrients uh, in the root zone and also act as a biostimulant to actually create uh, pretty immediate new cell growth and plant reaction. So without any of those nasty PGRs, right? None. Absolutely no nasty PGRs in there. Um, everything's, you know, natural, organic in the product, and it's going to improve whatever product you're growing. So would you say that any style of growing could benefit from the use of this product? Hydroponics, soil, organic, salt-based growers, aeroponics? Everything. And, and that's based on feedback. Um, from a number of years, from growers all over the country running basically every different style, uh, every environment. And in cases where you are running DWC or current culture or something like that, uh, we recommend maybe 2 ml a gallon in the tank. So you can really cut back and cloning uh, down to 1 ml a gallon. So the additive rates are, are pretty darn low to get the kind of uh, results that we see. And I guess I didn't mention, but at, at the end of the day, what growers across the country have told us is they're seeing one to two week cycle time reductions across the board, whether it's, whether it's exactly, especially for economics, whether it's uh, guys running some all synthetics already, you know, trying to push that uh, time factor as, as low as they can get it, they're seeing one to two weeks. Uh, our Nectar fam, uh, guys in Oregon all the way to the East Coast, same exact thing. So basically, it's one of the huge economic benefits uh, to the commercial guys is that you can get another cycle per year. Uh, That's huge. It's huge, exactly, for, for the cost of basically another nutrient. Right. You've already got the overhead. So it's kind of like expanding your, uh, your, your facilities another 10, 15 percent, if you will. Um, but that alone wouldn't really cut it if you weren't producing what you want to. And that's, I guess, the other real benefit of full-on is it increases that core bricks production. And essentially that influences everything in terms of the growth, the quality, the terpene profiles, uh, everything that, that we call quality of the plant, uh, genetic expression, colors, aromas, smells. Full-on's gonna help with that, so you're not just gonna finish quicker. Um, what we hear is you're gonna elevate the quality of your produce all the way around, from strength to potency to nutrient density, um, and it works on literally every plant, from succulents to cacao in the Philippines, uh, to obviously all sorts of plants over here. People in our industry seldom talk about bricks, but it actually plays a very important role in not only the plant's overall uh, defenses, but also in the overall quality of the finished product. Totally. But again, that's it's something that in our industry, it's not really as commonly mentioned as it is, like, say, in the wine industry, which yep. is also right here in Sonoma County. It's a it, good point. And the wine industry, as I understand it, I mean, their uh, finished product is largely based on bricks content. That's correct. Um, and it's funny because checking bricks, I mean, simple as a refractometer, you can get from Monster Gardens, right? And that's you right. Can, you can do it. And, uh, Nectar Fam, uh, these guys have done uh, samples with us, and I think it's around a four to five percent bricks increase after a foliar. It's going to level back down after that, but generally, it's going to keep producing more bricks production in any given plant. I've also heard that this product is not only safe for use in aquaponics, but it's also beneficial to the fish. Yes. Yeah, we actually. Well, they're they're ingesting the minerals. I ta I take the minerals, um, the, the ionic mineral blend that we put in here, I take the same thing. And 
So the fish, obviously get a little bit of that. Everything in here is organic, food grade, no cheap urea, you know what I mean, no tricks. And so if it helps plants, and you know what I mean, and obviously I guess it's doing the same thing for the fish. People but again, only two ml a gallon. So, you know, we don't want people in these environments to, to put too much in because you're gonna to start to get some organic reactions. So people have been talking a lot more recently about fulvic acid and humic acids and things like that. And that's just one of the tricks in this, uh, in this bag of tricks that you've brought us today. Yes. Um, and we all know that that helps to increase nutrient uptake, but you're saying this ionic blend that it has also helps to kind of overdrive, if you will, um, that process. Exactly. It, it's, it's, I guess, kind of supercharging the efficiency of everything going on in the root zone. We don't have any beneficials in here, but we feed the beneficials. We have a lot of biodiverse food sources for them. Um, in addition to that, you've got the nanoparticles, which help transport all the nutrients um, into the plant, directly into the plant cell, which allows for more efficient uh, cell production. So essentially because they're so small, they're, they're already chelated, so the plant already, can uptake yep. them more simply. Exactly. And you're getting minerals and nutrients, or basically minerals and vitals, back in the plants that have been missing from the topsoil for 150 years. So whatever you put it on, you're going to benefit from nutrient density, but also the addition of those minerals um, and, and creating a more mineral rich soil. So that's another, and every time you put it on, you know, different than a lot of products, every application you're helping the environment. It's actually feeding uh, microbes, it's putting those those missing elements back into the topsoil. So it's a good Building product. the web of life. Building the web of life, exactly. So how late into flower would you say you could spray this product without having to worry about things like uh, powdered mildew or detritus? Well, 100% environment dependent. I mean, just for safety's sake, we say about two weeks on the flower. Um, it, you know, if you've got low circulation, high humidity, I don't even know if I'd go that, you know what I mean? If you're in an area that's really prone to that. Close to the ocean. Close to the ocean, I would certainly be extremely cautious if you're in the middle of the desert with you know, high air flows, a little bit different story. Using a humidifier as opposed to a dehumidifier that we're all used to using? Exactly. And, you know, you but you definitely want to go uh, all the way through flush with the root feed because every time you put the, the product in the roots, you're detoxing that plant. You're pulling the heavy uh, particles out of there, positive charge particles. So once you get to the end of your heart, your grow, you can eliminate 90% of your flush time drop that back to about one to two days and keep full on, um, you know, somewhere in, in the roots. So we have a number of gardeners that do the, uh, the super soil blend that uh, Seb Cool has, has pioneered and made right. so popular these days. With this product, adding that to the mix when it's, when it's fermenting or composting, as it were, would that speed up that process any? I think, um, you know, I don't know if it would specifically speed that up, but I would tell you it will speed up the uptake curve. So if you had enough nutrients in, in a soil to last maybe two months, they're probably gonna be gone well before that. That's interesting. that's interesting. And that's the whole trick, is to take what, what nutrients are in the soil or in the root zone and be able to make them utilizable by the plant. Not just to uptake them, mm -hmm. but to actually utilize them for new cell growth, which can happen very immediately and, and, and becomes very effective in moving that plant through the, through the stages. Well, things like bone meal, they take a long time for, the, for it to actually be usable by the plant. We're right. talking months, if not years here. Right. Um, which is why Scott made his Herculean harvest because it's much more available right. to the plant. It's exactly. Digested and composted for you already. Um, so adding a product like this to the nectar regimen obviously is gonna help the plant even more so. So I know when you use Bloom Chaos, you have to increase the amount of Herculean harvest that you use. Would you say that you would probably have to step that up even more when you use this product? I nobody's nobody's come back with that um, feedback in any of the nectar fam. Um, basically, what I hear from guys running the Spartan all the way to the Roman uh, regimens, they're, they're running 100 percent and using full on anywhere from four to ten ml as a foliar and four to six ml as a root feed at least twice a week. And of course that's gonna be strain specific as well. There's some plants that like to feed heavy. Exactly. Some plants that are a little more finicky. Exactly, yeah. Um, would you say that, especially in the soil, would you say pH is less of an issue? Yes. When you use this product? Yeah. The the, the pH of the of full on undiluted is around four one to four five. So it's a little acidic. It's, it's on the acidic side and by the time you um, add water to it, you're gonna be slightly 
uh, slightly under seven, I would think, depending on your water source, of course. So. Absolutely. Well, water's a lot different than city water. Amen. And yeah. uh, obviously, if you're going to be using this product or any other product that's uh, helping to stimulate biology, you're going to want to use at minimum dechlorinated water, and if you can, yep. RO. Yep, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's an organic product. It's a holistic product, and to that degree, it kind of operates um, in conjunction with all the other products that, that we use and we see in the signal. Have you had a lot of feedback from no-till gardeners that are using this product? Uh, matter of fact, we have. Uh, we've got a good customer uh, of ours, Paul Rotterdam, up in Colorado, and he's doing a lot of uh, hemp farming and uh, working a lot, working a lot with full on hundreds of gallons. He's using up there, and a lot of these guys are organic no-till uh, farmers and getting great results with full on both is you know watering it in and doing heavy foliar feeds with. What would you say would be the most important thing that you would tell a gardener about that's new to using this product? What kind of precautions would you tell him in order to achieve the best results? Number one, I think, first of all, on the initial application, you want to drop any synthetic NPKs by 50%, just initially. And full on will not burn even directly on the plant tissue, but it will catalyze everything at the root zone. And we just want to make sure that initial uh, dose or initial first time it hits the roots, that we don't have too many nitrates that may be uh, activated or anything like that. Uh, after that, go back up, start increasing, and maximum, you know, get back up to where you're, you've pretty much maxed your nutrient uptake with your genetics and your environment. Uh, with nectar, 20% uh, reduction initially, just as a precaution, mm -hmm. and then basically guys go right back up to 100 and start to see that increase in growth at the same nutrient level and speed. We were talking about DWC earlier, and I think that's important to note as well. Yeah. You already want to cut your nutrients down significantly when you're going into DWC just because it's in constant contact right. with the roots. Yep. So would you say you want to cut it back even yes. further, like maybe another 30 to 40 percent? I, I definitely would, because there's no buffer. We're going directly into water, and that water is going directly out of the roots. So again, just for the initial time, it's, it's better to go slow. Uh, work your way into it. Work your way into it. Um, obviously, some of this plant tissue is quite expensive, and, and you know we don't want to see it uh, get burned up. So. Absolutely. So, in transition uh, period, this is also helpful there in, in reducing stress because a lot of the time, yep. um, you know, there's a lot of different schools of thought. I myself have always believed that plants need the dark part of the photo periods so they can respire and they can yep. get rid of some of that CO2 yes. and the excess uh, nutrients that they haven't consumed. Um, go back down to the soil, CO2 comes out. Right. Um, so. For those guys out there that are doing like two days of darkness when they flip them, um, would you say this is gonna help with stress? Because it's been my, in my experience, what I have noticed, I've always done, you know, just flipped them and done over from 12, right. 12 to 18 sits. But it's been my experience when I've seen other people's gardens and they've done a couple of days of darkness, um, the plants seem to have trouble rebounding and starting right. to grow again because right. they've been dormant for so long. Exactly. So this kind of helps with that transition? I, we've seen it or hear about it helping with every transition. Essentially it goes back to what we talked about is that bricks production. The plant is, is going to be able to produce more bricks, it's going to have more energy and be able to respond back from any form of stress, heat stress, uh, light depth stress, whatever it happens to be. It's just, it, it's just getting the available nutrients into that plant in the right manner that helps it just gives it the energy to respond. Um, also great with lockup, nutrient lockup, if you guys get that. Yeah, I find uh, people that don't uh, pay any attention to their pH tend exactly. to have those issues a lot more than people that check it periodically yep. at yep. least. You're totally. But uh, we'll actually, we actually have a product that we're going to be talking about um, in the coming weeks here that we just got our hands on that actually eliminates the need for having uh, any pH up or down. Awesome. So that's something Very we're nice. pretty excited about too, and I'll keep you on the on that. Perfect. Anything else you'd like to add about this product? It's uh, a great product for any plant. I mean, it's not uh, not specific to hemp, cannabis, tomatoes, whatever. We see great results on succulents um, all the way to cacao in the Philippines. So it's a, it's honestly a fun product to play with. But one, at the end of the day, for the commercial guys in uh, this industry, I think it's a real game changer and it's going to make a lot of uh, financial difference to the guys that not just stick their foot in the water, but just commit to that regimen once a week foliar and twice a week in the roots. Um, it, it works every time. And no, you haven't found any issues with uh, residues for testing or anything like that in places like Colorado? Oh goodness, no. No, there's absolutely nothing. I mean, if anything, 
with uh, residuals, we're going to help pull that junk out of there because most of that is our positive charge uh, particles. Lipids and fats. And yep. like that. And, and so that negative charge and, and metals, we're going to start, you know, we, we break that down and pull that, let that out of the plant with every root feeding. So it's definitely an advantage to get to get a cleaner product at the end of the day. Well, thank you so much for stopping well, by. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, sir. Honor. Honor's all mine. Thank you. This product and many other astounding, amazing, wonderful products are available exclusively at monstergardens.com. Thanks for tuning in, guys.